In this video presentation I shall discuss about a poem. The poem of the poem is The Bus and the name of its poet is Arunko Latka. Now my dear students I welcome you to my educational channel. The name of my educational channel is Priyanka Ditta. Here you will find video presentations of English language and literature of school level, college level as well as of competitive examinations. Now I shall give you a brief account of the poet, namely Arun Kolatka. Arun Kolatka is an Indian English poet. Specifically saying, he belongs to Kolhapur in Maharashtra. Before I start discussing about the text of the poem entitled The Bus, let us have an information about the source of it. Jajari is a notable anthology of Arun Kolatka and it has 31 poems. The Bus is the first poem of this anthology. The poem under review opens with a mention of a bus journey to Jajari. The tarpaulin flaps are buttoned down slash on the windows of the state transport bus slash on the way to Jajari. It is clear that a number of persons are making a journey in a state transport bus and the destination of the journey is Jajari where the temple of Khandoba, a local god, is situated. Thus the journey has a religious motive behind it. The windows of the bus have broken blinds and so tarpaulin flaps are tied to them. The obvious intention is to keep away the cold air and water, of course if it rains. The dilapidated condition of the state transport bus has been hinted at, of course with a view to satirize it. The purpose for which the tarpaulin flaps are tied to the window of the bus is not fully fulfilled. A cold wind keeps whipping slash and slapping a corner of tarpaulin at your elbow. As expected, cold wind hits at the tarpaulin and it, in turn, hits at the elbow of the passengers. Thus though the cold wind can be evaded, its powerful flow affects the elbows of the passengers. Thus, the passengers do not get the expected comfort. The word whipping is a powerful image in which the wind is compared to a whip. The nocturnal journey continues with additional physical torture. You look down to the roaring road slash you search for the signs of daybreak in what little light spillies out of bus. The condition of the road is very bad. So, the bus seems to be roaring as it moves. Thus, with along with the cold wind, the bad condition of the road adds to the discomfort of the passengers. The poet is obviously making an indirect attack at the state government for its negligence so far as the maintenance of the road is concerned. The use of transferred epithet in the phrase Roaring Road deserves mention. The nocturnal journey is about to come to an end as faint rays of light, suggestive of the arrival of dawn, is seen by the passengers. Since night represents helplessness, the light of down assumes here a positive meaning. After all, the passengers of the bus want the troublesome journey to come to an end. Light thus stands for release. The verb spills out here is a powerful image not of the overflowing of liquid but of the chance seeing of the light of the rising sun from the gaps of the tarpaulin covered windows of the bus. Since all the windows are somehow or the other covered with tarpaulin pieces, the view of outside is prohibited to the passengers despite the fact that the sun has risen and the bus has come to the countryside where the beauty of nature is expected to be seen. Your own divided face in the pair of glasses slash on an old man's nose slash is all the countryside you get to see. The narrator can see his face in the two pieces of glass of the spectacle of the old man who is sitting in front of him. Since the narrator sees it in two places, he calls his face a divided one. The image of this divided face is suggestive of the divided self of modern man, outer devotion and inner lack of it, so far as attitude to religion is concerned. The view of the countryside is barred from the passengers not on their own accord but due to circumstantial necessity. There is a note of helplessness in the phrase all, you get to see. The poet tells that people are going to Jajari with both religious and secular purpose. You seem to move continually forward slash toward a destination slash just beyond the caste mark beyond his eyebrows. The journey of the passengers of the bus is directed to Jajari which is a place of pilgrimage. Literally the journey is continually forward moving. However, from the religious point of view this nature of the journey is apparent, as the word seem suggests. Moreover, from the religious point of view all the passengers are not equally devoted. The caste mark within the eyebrows of the old man suggests his religious fervor. Some of the passengers are beyond this fervor in the sense that they have come to Jajari without any religious motive. The destination is however the temple of the local god Khandoba. 
In the meantime, the sun has risen fully and it is evident to the speaker. Outside the sun has risen quietly slash it aims through an eyelet in the top wall in and shoots at the old men's glasses. That the sun has risen is a natural phenomenon. The tarpaulin which has been used as a substitute of the blinds of the windows is defective in the sense that it has an eyelet meaning a small hole. The sun ray has got through it and has fallen on the glasses i.e. spectacles of the old man who is sitting just in front of the speaker. The sun appears brightly and gets inside the bus. A sword of sunbeam comes to rest gently against the driver's right temple slash the bus seems to change direction. Perhaps the window by the side of the driver is not covered by tarpaulin pieces. It is not unnatural because sidewise visibility is of great importance to the driver of any vehicle. The falling of the sunlight on the right forehead of the bus driver makes it evident that the sun has risen. The light of the sun suggests hope because the darkness of night seems to have added to the discomfort of the passengers in the course of the nocturnal journey. This hope is actually the hope that the bus journey will come to a close. The use of the word temple here is striking. In the context of the driver the word temple means forehead. Moreover, the temple of Khandoba is the destination of the said bus journey. Since the windows are covered with tarpaulin pieces, the passengers can only guess the direction of the bus and so the word seems has been used. At last the journey comes to a close. At the end of the bumpy ride with your own face on either side slash when you get off the bus. Apart from the bad condition of the bus what contributes to the difficulty of the journey is the bumpy meaning uneven nature of the road. In the course of the journey the passengers have looked on either side for some relief but of no avail. However, as the passengers get off the bus, the proposed journey to Jejeri, specifically to the temple of Khandoba becomes complete. Now the poet raises the question about the sincere devotion of all the passengers to religion. You don't step inside the old man's head. Here head stands not for intellect but for religious devotion since the holy sign is found on the forehead of the old man. The phrase stepping inside implies adhering to. Clearly enough modern men go to places of pilgrimage for secular purposes as well. The poet is sarcastic about it but it is quite true. Before concluding this video presentation, I request you to subscribe my channel, to share my